Hello everyone, it's Karen from Thrifted Living. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today I am thrilled to be participating in a collab video with Patricia Keel from the channel Patricia Keel. This collab is so much fun because it is a crafting week and so every day Patricia is sharing a different crafting video with a different YouTuber and I am having so much fun watching all of her videos. Patricia invited me to participate in this collab and I selected to participate with a thrifted item. If you can't tell from the name, I love thrifted items. I love to go through I love to wear thrifted clothing. I love to craft with thrifted things. And so one of the days for her collab week was about a thrifted item. And so I had to jump at it. I definitely had to do the thrifted item. But today I am going to be sharing two projects that I did with thrifted items that I recently got at the Salvation Army. In that video, I found two absolutely beautiful pieces that I was inspired to craft with. The first one is a beautiful wooden tray that is the Threshold brand. There goes my dog, sorry. Um, the first one is a beautiful wooden tray that is the Threshold brand from Target that I got for 99 cents at the Salvation Army. And the second one is a cart that is absolutely stunning. I am in love with this piece. So I was inspired to take those two separate pieces and to kind of try to make them a set. So pretty much what I did was use products that I already had in my home. I shopped my home uh, for different things to use. So in my home I found contact paper, and a wine rack. And so I decided to actually take the tray and the cart and turn the tray into a, just keep the tray pretty much the same, but to add contact paper to the bottom. And then I turned the cart into a bar cart that I could use for parties, I could use it for cocktails, or if I was having um, family over, I could use it for like brunch, um, for punch or something like that. So I'm so excited to do this project. I think it turned out great. I hope you guys enjoy the process and let's get started with this crafting project. The first piece I wanted to tackle was this beautiful tray that I found at the Salvation Army. I found it for only 99 cents and I wanted to do something with it that would make it look modern and chic, um, but that was an easy project This is the contact do. brand contact paper that I got at Walmart. So all I did for this part of the project was measure out the width and the length of the tray and then I just cut the contact paper out and stuck it on and I think it looks great. Pretty much I followed a very similar process to the tray. I just measured the width and the length of each part and I just cut the contact paper out and stuck it on. It was very, very simple and a very quick project to do. I think from start to finish on both of these, it took me less than like 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes at the most. So the next part was to take a wine rack um, and attach it to the bar cart. And the great thing about this wine rack is that Sean and I had this um, rack for our glasses when we lived in our apartment uh, before we got our house and it didn't fit anywhere in our house. And so we've just been hanging on to it for uh, the past year. And so when I got this cart, I found the wine rack and I attached it to the bottom. I just like held it up to the bottom and it fit perfectly. So I'm thrilled that it fits perfectly. We found four squirrels that we just had lying around in our toolbox and we easily attached them to uh, the underside of the top shelf and that was pretty much it. I mean, there's really nothing else to say about that part. It was that simple to attach the wine rack. I hope you enjoyed my thrifted crafting projects. Let me know what you guys think about them. I haven't used uh, contact paper a ton uh, for crafting, but I think it turned out pretty nicely. Um, if you guys have any other ideas of how I could kind of adjust it uh, to make it different for different seasons, um, let me know in the comments because I would love to hear that. If you are not already a subscriber to Patricia's channel, I highly recommend that you do. I love watching her channel because she has just such a soothing voice and a soothing presence. And when I want to relax and just calm down, I listen to her channel. That might be weird. Patricia doesn't even know this, but I love watching her channel to just relax and clear my mind. I especially enjoy her videos about decluttering and living a minimalist lifestyle. She is just such a genuine and kind person. I have all of her channel information in the description box below and I also have a card inserted with a link to her channel, so please go check her out. I promise you won't regret it. As I said earlier, Patricia is hosting this for an entire week, so please check out all of the other videos of all of the other YouTubers that have participated. I have been having so much fun seeing how they are crafting with all of these different mediums and it's inspiring me to do some more projects in my home. I think you guys will really enjoy their videos and I have included all of that information below. Don't forget to check out my blog at thriftedlivingvlog.
thriftedlivingblog.com. Please follow me on Instagram at thriftedliving. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!